Hello and uh, welcome to the fourth video in this series uh, updating uh, effects for the fifth edition rule set for Fantasy Grounds uh, Unity. Uh, in this video we're going to concentrate on the uh, ability modifiers uh, and we can see from the wiki here that there are seven of them, uh, one for each of the ability scores and an overall one called check. Uh, you can see here the values and the descriptors uh, which these uh, modifiers will uh, take. So it's a good place to come if you're looking to create your own effects uh, and see just what you can do and what parameters uh, these modifiers take. Uh, so uh, let's get uh, Jane uh, up. We need a character. Uh, and we've already got uh, a little power group here with some example effects. Uh, and we're just going to right click over this line. We're going to add action as usual and then add effect. And then we're going to open up the dialog by clicking on the magnifying glass at the end of the line. And the first one we'll look at is just check. Uh, and we just need the uh, modifier itself uh, ended with a colon. Uh, now check will accept numbers, dice strings and PC tags. So let's go with a 1d4. We need to make sure that the targeting is set to self because it is Jane that's going to be benefiting from this bonus, not her uh, enemies. And we can close off this dialog and then make sure that Jane is on the combat tracker because effects won't uh, work if she isn't on the combat tracker. Uh, we can now apply the effect uh, and we can see uh, the effect uh, coming in here. We can get rid of this targeting. Um, so now when we go to uh, make any kind of ability uh, check for Jane, she's getting a D4 as well as the uh, D20. This will also apply to uh, her initiative since that is an ability check. And it will also apply to uh, any skill checks that she makes since these are all ability checks. Uh, but it won't apply to things like an attack roll since that's not an ability check, nor obviously damage. So check uh, on its own uh, without any parameters except uh, a number or a dice string uh, will give a bonus to any check uh, that the character makes. We can limit the abilities that uh, the bonus uh, uh, goes to uh, by uh, adding a comma uh, after the uh, descriptor here and then uh, just adding in an ability that we want to limit this bonus too. So let's supposing dexterity. Uh, it goes in there in full in lower case as you can see. So let's uh, swap out the uh, old for the new. Uh, and now when we go to make an, a, check, a check, a dexterity check, you can see that Jane's getting her uh, d4. Uh, this will also work for her uh, initiative since that's a dexterity check and it will also work for any dexterity based uh, skills such as uh, acrobatics here, she's getting the d4, but it's not going to work for uh, history here since that's an intelligence check and it's not going to work for any other uh, of her abilities. Uh, since obviously that isn't uh, dexterity. Uh, and we can add in as many uh, abilities as we want here. So if we, for example, wanted to also give her uh, this bonus on her charisma checks, then we can just uh, add that in, comma separated. Uh, and then when we now make a charisma check, she's getting her D4 or any skill based uh, charisma checks like persuasion here or performance, she's getting her D4 but not for medicine checks, for example. So check on its own will apply to any check, uh, but you can limit it to specific ability checks uh, by including the ability uh, in the effect string. Uh, so if we go back to our actions tab then, uh, and uh, let's get rid of all of this, uh, and let's look now at the individual abilities themselves. So we'll start with uh, strength. Um, we put in the modifier word str and end with uh, a colon. Uh, now these uh, ability modifiers uh, will only take numbers, uh, which means that they won't take a dice string. So they will take numbers and they will take a PC tag. So they, they'll take level or proficiency or whatever. Um, but let's just give uh, Jane a straightforward uh, four points uh, to her strength. 
Now, if we go to her main tab and we have a look at the, the strength here, uh, her strength is currently uh, 11. Um, so uh, let's get rid of that. So when uh, she makes an attack roll, uh, she's got no uh, particular bonus to that. She's only she's getting a plus two from her proficiency modifier here. She's not getting anything from her actual strength because her strength modifier, uh, as you can see, is zero. If we uh, now apply the effect uh, to Jane and then go back to her attacks uh, with her uh, club here, then she's getting a bonus of plus two uh, because of course we're adding four points to her strength which is making her strength 15 and that means that her modifier for that is a plus two so what you're adding here is to the actual uh, strength not to the modifier that she gets if we'd wanted to give Jane a plus three to her actual modifier here then we would have needed to give her uh, five sorry five points uh, of strength uh, to bring her uh, strength up to uh, 16, which would give her uh, an actual plus 3 bonus. So we can uh, just show you that by swapping these out, uh, adding in the new, and now when we make a strength based uh, attack, she's getting a plus 3 uh, bonus to that attack. And she will also get that, of course, to the damage, since this is a strength based thing but she's not going to get any benefit uh, from her light crossbow because that's based on uh, dexterity. <clears throat> she's also going to get uh, this bonus to any strength-based uh, skill checks. So there is only one, of course, uh, athletics. So if we make an athletics check, then she's going to get the, the effects there. She's going to get that bonus for her strength. If we uh, swap out now to uh, her dexterity, uh, so dex and uh, a colon. Now her uh, dexterity at the moment is currently 15. So if we even just give her just one point of dexterity, then that's going to change her modifier from a plus two to a plus three. Uh, so we'll swap that out, add that in. Uh, and now uh, when she makes uh, any skill-based dexterity check, um, like uh, acrobatics here, for example, uh, she's going to get that plus one. If she uh, were to make an initiative roll, then she's also going to get the plus one because that's a dex based uh, roll. And if she makes an attack roll with her light crossbow, because that's dex based, she's going to get an effect, an additional uh, plus one uh, for that as well. Um, and finally, uh, since uh, Jane is a cleric, uh, wisdom being important to her. So if we take out uh, that and put, add in whiz, uh, and let's um, let's just to show you uh, change this uh, bonus here to her uh, proficiency uh, level. Uh, we can swap these out now and add that in. Uh, Fantasy Grounds translates the PRF to her proficiency value, which is 2. Her wisdom is currently uh, 16, so by adding in 2, we're taking it from 16 to 18, which means that her bonus is going to go from a plus 3 to a plus 4. Um, if we go down to her uh, actions tab here, and have a look at, uh, let's say, Cure Wounds. And you can see that she's getting a D8 plus 3, which is her current proficiency bonus. But when we uh, heal Bob here, we're getting an extra plus 1 to that heal uh, because we've increased her uh, wisdom uh, by 2. Uh, and similarly, if we come down to uh, this one here, this spiritual uh, weapon, uh, it's a melee attack. Uh, and it's currently standing at plus five. So if we were to uh, target the wizard here and then cast the spell uh, at the wizard, we can see that we're getting a plus one uh, on the attack rolls because uh, this is a, a wisdom based uh, cast. And so uh, we get the, uh, the extra plus one, still missed, but uh, you can see that the uh, effect is coming through for that. And of course, any wisdom based uh, skill checks are also going to uh, benefit from the uh, bonus as well. 
Um, okay, I think that's it for the uh, abilities. Uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.